It's pretty gloomy out there today. A little bit. Of course, we need some of this rain, Kaylin. Mm -hmm. That's right. We'll take it. We do need it. We're going to have some scattered showers, not just today, but over the next couple of days. Already seeing a few of those lingering around this morning. Most of them are up towards the Northeast Kingdom, where that rain is just a little bit heavier than elsewhere. But we do have some spot showers in uh, southern Vermont as well. And I want to point out a little spot in northern New York where you guys do have a little, at least moderate to even heavy rain falling right over Shazy. I think Beekman Town is right in the middle of that. You guys may have had it in Moore's not long ago. Heads up to the Danamora area, even Morrisonville. You guys are going to have a little bit of that headed your way, and it looks like some of those little tiny showers popping up over the islands, too. So just a little sense of what we're going to get not only this morning, but even into the afternoon, too. After a little bit of that rain and some storms yesterday, we have some moisture on the ground, plus it's humid. That does mean some fog. Visibility is low in Burlington and Plattsburgh, and really for a big chunk of the area. So please have that in mind if you're out driving this morning, that visibility is going to be reduced because of that fog. 68 in Burlington, 67 in Plattsburgh, 60 degree temperatures across the board. So it's plenty warm, but it is muggy. However, with those clouds around and those scattered showers and thunderstorms, temperatures really struggle to warm up. Only 64 in Killington today, 65 in Peru, 71 in Escutney, 74 in Brattleboro, 74 in St. Albans. That's one of our warmer spots. Stowe only 68, 70 in Middlebury and the Adirondacks are going to be cooler too. 68 in Saranac Lake, only 71 in Newcomb, 70 in E-Town and only 60 69 or so in Keysville. And again, it's the clouds and those scattered showers that will slow our temperatures down in addition to a north wind around 10 miles per hour. It's all thanks to that system that's sitting over uh, New England. You can find it spitting out those scattered showers that will include some heavy rain. Could find some thunderstorms that have that dangerous lightning as well as some gusty winds and maybe even some small hail out of a couple of these. Good news is that they're not very widespread. We'll have some nice weather in between. And the good news is that we need the rain. So even though it is on a local level, level for most of us, we need it and we'll take it. Let's take you to Tuesday, maybe some spot showers in the morning and then in the afternoon, it's much of the same. We've got that humidity, those scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then on Wednesday, that humidity is really going to continue to rise and it's actually going to peak. And yet again, we have a continued chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms over the next three days, which is why we've got your impact icon. So don't be caught off guard by those. Know that they're a possibility. Very hot, very humid on Thursday, but a little drier. Then that humidity drops on Friday and into the weekend, but it is still going to be pretty toasty through the holiday weekend in the mid and upper 80s.